So today's video is a little bit different. It's a backstage journal tour vlog. And if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I don't normally open the vlogs like this in the studio. But this one is a little bit different. This is from my tour with Noah Guthrie in Good Trouble in the Netherlands back in December of last year, 2019. It didn't feel right to make this video and put it out until now. I tried several times to edit it and put it out right when we got home and then a few weeks later and it just never felt right, but it does now. With the current situation, obviously all live shows and touring are shut down for the foreseeable future. And as a musician, this is affecting me in many different ways. But when I was editing this footage and going back and looking at it, one thing really struck me, which was I'm incredibly lucky and fortunate to be able to do what I do for a living. When we were on tour in the Netherlands, we were having a great time, but we were also looking forward to this year and the tours and shows we had coming up, not really thinking that, hey, this could all end at any moment and to enjoy it while it's happening. But I've learned a lesson in this experience, which is to not take these opportunities for granted the ability and the opportunity and the privilege to be able to go out and play live music with my friends all over the world is very, very special and is something to be appreciated and enjoyed. And whenever we do get back to playing live shows, you will bet I will not be taking that opportunity for granted. Now, if you're new here, this is a Backstage Journal tour vlog. Here is a playlist of all of the Backstage Journals I've made to date. And under normal circumstances, this is a pretty regular part of my channel. I get to travel and play quite a few shows during the year and I make vlogs about them. So if you're a new subscriber and you haven't seen these videos, I would encourage you to check them out. I'm really proud of them. They're some of my favorite videos that I get to make on this channel and they're a big reason of why I started making YouTube videos in the first place. So check that playlist out. So without further ado, let's jump back into December of last year. Okay, so travel day one of tour, we are headed to the Netherlands. Kind of a ridiculous travel arrangement. Yesterday, Phil and I drove from Atlanta to Asheville. So we're at the airport in Asheville, North Carolina right now. We're about to get on a plane to fly back to Atlanta to get on our international flight and go from Atlanta to Amsterdam. It's just the way the travel arrangements worked out. Apparently the tickets were way cheaper to do it this way. And I called the airline and asked like, hey, I live in Atlanta. Is there any way I could just get on the international flight? And they said, no. If you miss the first leg of your flight, your whole flight is canceled. But it's fine, we're gonna make the best of it. It's gonna be a good trip, I'm really excited. Right now, Phil and Ian and I are just hanging out, waiting for our flight. This is like the best airport I've ever been to. They have dogs here that just walk around and their whole job is to let you pet them. It's amazing. So, it's gonna be a good trip. Share 9667 to Amsterdam. Boarding should begin here in about 15 minutes. If you are interested in checking your luggage at this time, please check with us here at F1. So first flight down. Yep. Give me other questions. It was literally like 45 minutes long. Questions. It was the shortest flight I've ever right done in my now, life. Please. Timing's weird on this. I can't decide if I should just take a melatonin as soon as I get on the plane and try and sleep the whole way or, because it's only like three o'clock local time. We're going to be landing at 6 a.m. in Amsterdam, so. One down, one to go. <laughs> That's a happy fill up right there. <laughs> All right, so we made it to Amsterdam. <laughs> Look, you're whoa, you're filming. I'm, I'm filming you're doing you whoa. <laughs> um, so it is currently 6.25 local time, which means it's about midnight our time. We haven't slept, didn't sleep on the plane at all. Help prevent jet lag, we're just going to get on their time. So I'm just going to stay up all day. 
going to be awake. If I start hallucinating, I'll let you know, but it should be fine. How cool is this? This is our home base for the next 10 days. We are gonna be staying here in the middle of the Dutch forest um, at this great sort of campground area with these little cabins. So this is gonna be our home base for the next 10 days. Every show we have is within a two hour drive of here. So we're gonna be going out and back, which is so nice. You know, usually when you're touring it's just hotel room, unpack, play the show, pack up, new hotel room, unpack, play the show. So it's gonna be a really nice change of pace to be able to have like a home for the next week and a half. Amazing. Okay, so first morning here. Well, technically yesterday morning was first morning here, but we flew in. So today is day of the first show. Just headed over to Noah's cabin to do a little rehearsal, a little warm up. Noah and I still have yet to run the acoustic set together. So uh, I think we're gonna try and do that this morning and then pack up and head to Dordrecht for the first show. Okay. I made everything red somehow, but it is on you what guys. What do you now. mean? What should I do? Right? I made everything red. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I'll have to leave. Hi, boy. It's not time. Call your name. Good morning. Good morning. Here's your mayonnaise, Noah. Ooh, it's too tasty. Thank you. It's like a tube of mayonnaise. Oh, God. Time. Oh, that's, my, uh, that's my pre-show regimen. Just mayonnaise. Tube of mayonnaise. <laughs> 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 we don't have to play this song. You just gotta gargle with some mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I got various and sundry sandwiches. Can you gargle <laughs> First load in, first show. I'm, now I'm feeling it. Amped up. Ready to go. Ready to play. No, let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's Hurry up. Uh, let's go. I'm doing it right now. That's why I'm here. I exist to you make you live. happy. I just said that's all I'm here. Stone. Now, 
we just do slow downs? And, yeah. Uh, That's what I'm doing. Burnout. Just, yeah. Okay. I don't think we. Need to do that. So. Yeah. On the way to the third <laughs> show, Sleeping settling in into a rhythm area. here, if you because can't tell. Kind of the same thing every day. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up, like drink coffee, like eat Stroop waffles, yeah. get in the van, so drive to the venue, yeah. play a show, the come home, the eat Stroop waffles, go to bed. He's been having a hard time. So. We're not jet lagged anymore. No, we're not. I feel fantastic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I just stay up the first what? time. We're still, uh, we're still learning the laws of the road here in the Netherlands. It's, oh, no. it's different yeah, than the States. Yes, <laughs> deer. Hey, sweet, sweet man, look at that. Look He's howling at the moon. Woo! Come moon. on, yes. look at that. <laughs> That's a stag. That's not a, a deer. Stag. <laughs> right. Hell yeah, I'm David. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really. I'd pull it pretty close to this because this is a driveway behind you. I'm trying to make sure I'm not hitting that bicycle right there. I know that. Worry about that? I know that. I know that. Front camera. Okay. <laughs> whoa. 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 Everyone, this is Tice and Sarah. Our friends from the Netherlands, and they are opening for us on this run. And we are in Groningen. Groningen, yes. Getting it. The G is the <sighs> the weird sound. The weird yeah. sound. <laughs> so we're in Groningen. I've been saying oh. "groan again" this whole time, and that's wrong. So this town is beautiful. This whole country is beautiful, but this is my favorite place we've been so far. Uh, English. Okay. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're here in Groningen in the Netherlands, and tonight is the first night I am using the Lark. My pedal with Mythos. I've got the prototype here and uh, yeah, tonight's first run. Basically we've got master volume, tremolo speed, and overdrive. And it's all around this amp jewel here. So this is pedal on. And then when you kick the tremolo on, you get it 
blinking itself. So it's not quite perfect. There's a couple things I want to tweak on it, uh, but it's pretty close, man. Zach did a really good job of getting this thing to sound like the Skylark. So. Uh, seems small to you like lengthwise maybe it's just because this thing's in my face but <laughs> not a bad way it just seems like it. or I'm used to playing bass that's probably it. that's probably it. that is a big guitar warmed up oh, yeah. I think so I'm trying a new uh, warm-up app I've never used it before they really don't want you to steal this bottle opener oh wow I just feel like I haven't had the right like warm up routine and I really need one like really bad because when we really start playing shows like heavy heavy it's gonna get old fast <laughs> yeah you always screw up your voice man yeah it's also just like I need to I probably need to start doing like vocal rest hours during the day I know the need to breathe bear from need to breathe he does like three hours of vocal rest before the show something like that his manager like makes him do it I think I just need someone to make me do it. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't want you to do it. I'll get mad at you. Maybe these burning bridges are just setting us free. We're looking for the sunshine.
Okay, so it's the morning of the last show, day of the last show. And I was thinking last night, this is the last show of the year, which means this is the last show of the decade. And when you say it like that, it sounds kind of cheap, right? Like, oh, last show of the decade, okay, whatever. But when I think back to where I was exactly 10 years ago, I was just getting ready to start AIM. I started music school in February or March of 2010. And that's when my musical sort of journey started, was almost exactly 10 years ago. So when I think about the last 10 years in music, I've had a lot of incredible experiences, I've had a lot of not so incredible experiences, but all of the things, all of the decisions, all the gigs, the good stuff, the bad stuff, has all led to here, which is one of if not the most incredible experiences I've ever had in music. I mean, the last 10 days here in the Netherlands has been incredible. And it's been exactly the kind of thing I pictured and hoped for when I got into music. This is what I wanted to do when I started AIM. This is what I had in my head. And it's what I wanna do for the next 10 years. I'm incredibly lucky and really fortunate to be able to do this for a living and to do it with amazing people to do with my friends and to meet new people along the way, Tice and Sarah and everybody we've hung out with and played with here in the Netherlands. So I don't want to get all emotional or whatever, but it's uh, it's kind of a big deal. The end of a decade, the first decade in music for me, and it's got me really excited about the next 10 years and what might happen, what could happen. It's kind of scary but it's also really exciting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pack up, head to the venue, play the last show, and I think 24 hours from now, I will be on an airplane headed home, back to Atlanta. I'm really gonna miss this place. Hopefully we get to come back before too long. Watching you ride. Now I'm watching you 